Imagine a creature so strange, it looks like it crawled out of a sci-fi movie, with a long, spatula-like nose, armored spines, and legs skittering through ancient seas. Meet Psychopige, the rhino-nosed trilobite that baffled scientists. This alien-looking arthropod ruled the Devonian seas over 350 million years ago, and today, we're uncovering its secrets. Why the weird nose? Was it a food detector, a mud scooper, or something spicier? Stick around, because this trilobite story is wild. First, let's meet our star. Psychopige was a spiny trilobite from what's now Morocco. Unlike its flat cousins, this bug was extra, covered in defensive spines and sporting that bizarre elongated nose, called a rostrum. But here's the kicker, that nose wasn't for smelling. Trilobites had antennae for sensing, but this rostrum. Totally unique. Some scientists think it was like a metal detector for food, probing the seabed for tasty organic scraps. Others argue it might have been a flashy mating display, like a stag beetle's antlers. Okay, let's settle this. Food finder or love magnet. The mud probe theory makes sense, Devonian seas were murky buffets. But trilobites also had fierce competition, so showing off a giant nose might have been like driving a sports car in the Paleozoic. Imagine two male psychopiges battling nose-to-nose -nose for mates. No proof yet, but hey, nature's weird. Spines equals armor. But why so extravagant? The Devonian was the age of fishes, trilobites were under attack. Maybe psychopige spines made it a nightmare to swallow. Sadly, even the fanciest trilobites couldn't survive the Devonian mass extinction. But they're fossils. Pure gold for scientists and collectors. Morocco's deserts are trilobite treasure chests. Perfect conditions preserve these bugs in insane detail. But collecting them. That's a story for another video. So, was psychopige a mud scooper or a paleozoic heartthrob? Let me know in the comments. And if you love prehistoric weirdness, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell, because we've got more bizarre fossils coming your way.